Dr. Ivan Koza was asked if uh, there is any way or shape or any preparations that have been made in terms of preparing somebody that will succeed him because I mean he's not getting younger. Now he answered the question in a very interesting way and actually even though he never gave the precise answer but he drew certain examples of how he have reached the position where he is and why he has been the man that he is which will then propels you to see that if a person wants to fill his shoes he needs to have this probably similar experiences that's what he will give the idea for but if you're interested i'm going to give you more about that are you interested then please stick around to those that will stick around guys if you are not yet subscribed what are you waiting for because to subscribe it is free to like the video it is free to comment in the comment section below good people it is free of charge without wasting much of your time good people i'm gonna jump straight into the video and yeah it's a very interesting one eh? um he says some very 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 interesting things it's got this to say it's not an easy job that's why i tell my members that Whosoever is going to take over must have their heart in the right place. There are a lot of capable people in the PSL. There are a lot of people who have come in front, um, in front from the National First Division and the DSTV ETSKI Challenge. There are also ex-players who always advise that it is nice to talk that you must be given a chance but they don't get involved in their local football association LFAs. Some of us have operated from LFAs, know the value chain from the LFAs all the way up where we are today. I was a cashier, a gate controller. I was not just uh, uh, demeaning to be that. I did that job because it was a service training to understand the industry better. So when people speak, I know exactly what they are talking about. Okay, okay. If it was to happen today or tomorrow, members would decide because the choice is theirs. But I am saying from the benefit of um, hindsight that bringing someone who understands the value proposition and challenges we are facing is essential. That person will have to balance the commercial requirement of the sponsors with the interest of the supporters and expectations of mid and create conversation among friends to remain relevant and ensure the interest of the club. And the interest of um, unsung heroes who dip, dip into their pocket to finance their clubs, the supporters, are never spoken about and rare forgotten. These are the guys who said, I'm going to raise my hand and spend my family's money. The moment, the moment uh, funds uh, the man, when I became a, cha a chairman, nobody thought I would be a chair. They say I am conflicted. He is a club man, doesn't have the experience and whatever. Uh, time, was the time was determined and we cannot forfeit a solution because this is a member of organization for them to have been uh, to have taken a decision that the time to change the constitution for me to be given a chance to serve their interest it's dawn in my mind that they are saying i must be a chairman because they want someone with skin in the game there were people who were employed somewhere independent people but they had no understanding of the environment and the ecosystem we are being given that kind of menu to say we must have independent people but they, they also have agendas they come in and take the league and make it their their fat dom i remember one ceo was appointed years back he went on to, went to all the club and said ivan koza and kevin mutawongo must go he is hardly six months in the job and he says Ivan Koza and Motawonga must go because they are not God. Imagine we have invested our lives in, their, in, 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 in the business and we are spending from our pocket and not from the grant. 
The guys decided this because of his plans, not the plans of the members who want somebody to assist them to advance their calls of business. Yeah, I think that's very much interesting from Dr. Ivan Koza to know that. I think, yeah, reading that story of that particular CEO, I'm just wondering what was the motives and what was the, the ideal plan behind every situation here? Mm, I'm just wondering. But nevertheless, you've got your own opinion. What do you think should succeed, Dr. Ivan Koza? Tell me in the comment section below. Let that conversation begin right now. Right here.